There were two photos on the Drudge Report this morning of Obama, and I saved them, and I'm analyzing them now, and I have found some very interesting things in Obama that you might want to take a look at. This is the original photo of the two Obamas together. This is how they appeared after I had put them through filters and analyzed them. Certain things begin to become apparent in the photo on the left. It's very remarkable and very striking. As you can see, the eye does not even look human. It is some type of a reptilian eye. Very tiny, beady little eye in a huge black cavity. Very snake-like, very reptilian looking eye. Beast of some strange kind become apparent on his forehead. One appears to be leaping. Another one is looking up and lying down. They have horns. There are some at the bottom of them. There are several of these strange beasts under his eye, on his cheek, and beside his nose. The whole face has taken on a very distinct overall reptilian appearance. Especially the front of the face. The lip looks very prehensile. Perhaps he was starting to shapeshift when this photograph was taken. Shapeshifting is real. I grew up as a professional singer and traveled the world. I have seen up close with other witnesses, other entertainers, shapeshift. It's very prevalent in religious circles, very prevalent. Here's a very strange patch on his neck. You can see the entities. The ear shape looks like a reptilian shape forming within the human ear. Here's the side of his face. The whole arena and area of gospel singers, gospel preachers, evangelists, teachers, you name it, was infiltrated a long time ago. As a matter of fact, it's one of Satan's most favorite areas to put these deceiving spirits in among the people or the Christians to lead them astray. I've seen it over and over and over and over again and witnessed it many, many times with other people, much to their horror. Here's the photo on the right of Obama, a different photo showing the top of his head. And there's entities up there.
these possessed people can actually appear as shining angels of light and ministers of the gospel. I have people ask me, well, how can you tell? You can tell what they are, what they truly are. It will come out when they're confronted. If they are confronted about who they are, what they are doing, they'll become extremely angry. Their speech will turn violent. They'll use violent terms. They don't like being exposed. They'll lose their form. They'll immediately begin to shift. I've always wondered how in the world people are going to resist the Antichrist when they can't even see the minister or the, quote, holy person in front of them, what this person really is. Now is the time more than ever to pray for discernment. God will give it to you, but you have to ask him. I'll be putting some ministers and teachers through filters to show you what I mean.